first topic. Take it away. First topic, let me say, see, she kind of scribbled this through. I'm going to try to read this one I'm for you. I'm trying to write it really fast, guys. It says, would you pour shame your man if he used three credit cards to pay for your dinner date? Play fuck how much them jeans just cost. I know you need it. Compliment my style, then a couple outfits could pile up. And that's just how a genius boss. We make a scene and show them that we mean it. That's the way we succeed it. I so power stand this way. Was you a parasite? I get you going to you open and you lean it right. And if you lean away, then I still need you either way. Just stick with me and take a seat and watch the glow up. What's going on, y'all? My name is Rock. And I'm Grace. And we back again with another video. I know it's been a long time. It's been a very long time, actually. Definitely. So we're going to take this time to reintroduce ourselves. Yes, we are Flight Love. If you guys don't know us from Instagram, then our links and everything is down below. Go follow our page. That's right. So how we got started, let's start off with that, just for everybody who's new and coming along. Um, we started traveling pretty early on into our relationship. And our personal pages got flooded with pictures from us traveling so much. And our friends were like, hey, you guys should like start a page together. I kind of was against it because I didn't want to be that couple that had like that couple page. But we actually was onto something with this because we tried it and look, we like totally blew up. So definitely, definitely. So um, we got this new uh, segment that we're going to share with you guys. It's called the Champagne Talk. And um, Basically, uh, you see we got a bottle of champagne right here. Mm. And uh, we've been getting like a lot of requests and everything, questions and you know, everybody wants to get some advice from us. So what we decided to do was, instead of putting it all in the blog, mm -hmm. we would talk about it mm -hmm. in front of the camera, yep. off a bottle of champagne. See, we got the glasses, got a nice little setup. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and crack this open while you're taking the three away. So this is gonna be the first time that I actually try champagne. I don't drink, so you guys, if you see like a facial expression <laughs> go on, don't go by me. We're actually like a pretty weird duo here when it comes to that. Rock, like, you know, he drinks. And I don't, so. At all. I would take his opinion over mine, so. By the way, um, we're gonna start this off with um, why we took a break from YouTube. So we haven't posted in a while. Like it's been a couple of months, I would say. Mm -hmm. And we've had a lot of you ask us like, you know, when are you guys posting again? And we did start a blog on our page. It's WWE, whoa, that's not the website by the way. <laughs> um, it's www.flylove.wix.com slash flylove. Um, we basically write out our blogs there from personal experiences, things that we're going through, topics that get thrown to us, questions that you guys ask us. So for our readers, people who like to read blogs, people who just like to read in general, you should go check that out. And for those who hit us up saying, it's so hard for me to read, you know, while at work, while on the train, like it's so much easier for me to just plug a headphone in and listen to you guys. This is for you guys. Um, we took our break from YouTube to find our thing. Like, yeah. we're not the couple that plays pranks on each other. Right. This has never been us. Yeah. And, you know, the how-to make slime and the... That just wasn't our thing. So, we are going to take topics that you guys give us. You can send it in the comments, in the DMs. You can, I don't know, if you're our friend, text us, email us, whatever you want. Or however you get it to us. And we'll talk about it. Let's so, do it. And we're keeping it 100% real. Boom. So let's toast to that. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get this started. Here you go, look at that. I gotta smell everything before I try. Super sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just went to church and I was online to get my... Are you nervous? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was supposed to. Um, oh man, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got it all over me, guys. Okay. All right. So, first topic, take it away. First topic, let me say, see, she kind of scribbled this through. I'm gonna try to read this one I'm for you. I'm trying to write it really fast, guys. It says, would you pour shame your man if he used three credit cards to pay for your dinner date? So, for a little rundown behind that, let's say, 
I don't know, your boyfriend takes you to dinner or your girlfriend. Let's let's mm -hmm. split this up. Mm -hmm. So your partner takes you to dinner and it's an expensive restaurant. You ordered everything and anything that you wanted. The bill came out to like three, four hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Your partner pulls out not one, not two, but three different cars to pay this off. Would you make fun of them for it? I don't think so. I wouldn't have. At all. I would have felt embarrassed, actually, just because I would have been like, damn, I didn't know what the budget was. Maybe this was something that I should have asked him about. I mean, you don't go on a date asking the person for a budget, but be keep in mind, like, if you're on a date, you yeah. don't know their financial situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm not going to go order lobster and filet mignon and, like, a 200 bottle of wine, and, you know? And then, uh... Desserts and then all the extra. I'm a dessert person. Yeah, super dessert. Person. I am. I'm a dessert person, but I balance that out. I make sure like my dinner is like ten, eleven dollars. So my five, six dollar dessert to twenty dollars on me, and that's it. No, maybe not ten dollars. That's too little. Too little. I don't eat that much though. Yeah, I guess. I guess that works. Yeah, but I don't think a uh, poor shaming them is the right move. Even if it wasn't like a three hundred, four dollar dinner, like. Some people just got a certain way they got things set up. Mm -hmm. If he but take then, you to Fridays or Applebee's and he got to use a couple of payment methods, then that's just what it is. For real. I mean, even if... I, you think people would, like, sit there and be like, oh, you know, you think we could do the two for 20 this time just because I'm low, but I still want to take you out? Yeah. I mean, you got to be reasonable on these dates. I mean, not everybody is... You know what I'm saying? Out here balling. He ain't taking yeah. to a drive through or I nothing don't know. like that. I feel like people these days are so quick to like pull out their phones and just record. Like, oh, how yeah, good. Yeah, trying to violate somebody. Yes. That's foul. I think it's more embarrassing on the person pulling out their phone and doing it than the person sitting there trying to pay for your nice meal, you know? Yeah, yeah, because you just got fed and you probably wasn't going to eat much but a freezer full dinner. That's so true. Better than the dinner you would eat at home. So, y'all gotta let that go. Mm. And what we got? The man flu. Oh, ladies. When your man <laughs> can't function when he's sick, yo. Now I'm gonna take a step to this. Because... I'm sick, <laughs> I need everything. Every. I don't get sick often, though. I beat this whole winter without getting sick. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I think men don't get as sick as women. I feel like, but at the same time, Mm. Depending on the situation, because it's like most moms are around their kids more, and it's like they're quicker to get like the flu or strep throat or pink eye because they're constantly like their kid is on top of them. With the us, it's just like you know, we get sick once in a blue. Well, he does, not me. I'm always sick, so yeah, yeah, but that's different. I think it's a uh... I think people, when people get sick, a lot of a lot of people, their first thing to go to is to blame the weather. Yeah. But it's really germs. Yeah. Germaphobe major. Super here. germaphobe. Like, he won't even hold the train pole. Oh. He legit be like, you have a piece of tissue. I, I don't. I never sound like that. In my life. <laughs> I never sound like that. It's not about how you sound. You whisper it though. You lean over and be like, do you have tissue? And then you hold it with the tissue. I don't care. I, I hold the ball. I don't know. I just like, honey, why am I sick? I don't. I don't know. No, I have the worst immune system ever. So shout out to Spoonies all over the world. I have eight chronic diseases. We're gonna throw that in here because you know a lot of um, our followers are chronic illness warriors. So shout out to all you guys. But I'm always sick. It doesn't matter. If you stand next to somebody, they cough, and the next thing I know, I'm coughing. It's just horrible. But still got to get through it. Him. Oh, he's dying. Can't get out of bed. Can't eat. Can't sleep. Oh my god, the world is over. <laughs> Touche. You see, you see? I'm cool. I, I mean, listen, you only gotta deal with it once in a blue. That's true. Once, that's enough, though. Excuse me? I'd be like, Lord, please, please let this man get over this cold. <laughs> <laughs> not, in a, not in a horrible way mm -hmm. Not in a horrible way mm -hmm. It's just you're not you It's horrible You're like a, you're like a two year old 
I think all I'm men like are though. I'm like a two year old. I think all men are though. I'm like a two year old. My dad gets the same way. What? What? Your dad gets the same way. What? I all men act like like kids when they're sick, but it's okay. Your dad act like a two year old? Yes. <laughs> I, all men act like two girls when they're sick. If you guys agree, comment below. If you don't agree, which is more just gonna be all the men on the page, then say you don't agree. But here we go, our first poll. You guys decide. I'm tight. We gonna <laughs> end this video, yeah. Uh, let's talk about this bottle before we get out of here. This is the... Rufino Prosecco. Rufino Prosecco. Try to say it with a, an Italian accent. Nah, uh, that I'm never gonna drink again. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, this drink is real sweet. I'm not much of a uh, champagne connoisseur or anything like that. I can't even really teach y'all about this, but. No, but the whole point of champagne sauce is we have, you know, every country we go to, we mm -hmm. collect liquor from that country. Yeah. And we're not gonna open that liquor for a couple of years. But because of like all the family gatherings we've had and having friends come over, everybody brings us liquor. Yeah. Mostly champagne. So we gotta start opening these bottles, guys. So um, you're gonna see a different bottle for, every every time. Yeah, and we're just gonna let you guys know, yay or nay. Boom. So I want to thank y'all for watching. This has been great. It has been. It's been real. It's been. It's been a long time coming. It feels good to be back. We're about to go argue about him being too evil. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> All right, guys. I wonder how she get into the train tomorrow. Oh, that's what we do. Oh. I wonder who's gonna cook the meal tonight. Jerk. <laughs> <laughs>